Hey, hey to my biz friends. This is Sam from Sam and Yes Consulting. In this video, I will be walking you through how I create an awesome mock-up graphic using Canva and a tool called mockupphone.com. I will typically create a graphic like this for clients when we launch their site or to show off old projects that we've done on social media, etc. You can create a graphic just like this one when you launch your new site or you have a new course or you have a new offer or even a new blog post. The use cases are endless, but let's talk about how we actually create something like this utilizing Canva and mock-up phone. You can also do this um, with Photoshop or InDesign. I prefer to use Canva in this case and for this tutorial because it's a free tool that anybody can use. So the very first thing we want to do is come over to mockupphone.com and then I typically just go straight to the device list because I want to see exactly what device I want to use in my mock-up. So in this example, I used a MacBook Pro, which is down here. So I think I chose either the 13 or the 15 inch. And you can choose whichever one you want. Find the device that works for you and your purposes. And then let's get started. So in this example, why don't we create one with the iPhone 7 Plus Gold? So this will be a nice wide iPhone and it'll have that gold look and feel to it. So ultimately our final result will be this mock-up. What I love about this free tool is that it tells you exactly the size that you need to upload your image so that it shows up nicely in that mock-up. So in this case, it needs to be 1242 pixels by 2208 pixels. So what I'll do is once you find your device, again, use whichever one you want. It'll tell you the recommended size there. You just come over to Canva, to your Canva account, and then go to create a design and then type in those custom dimensions. So in this case, 1242 by 2208. And then I'll click create design. If you make enough of these, you can always just create one template with the correct dimensions and then use that. So if I'm gonna use this, I know that I want my website that I'm showing off to be in mobile form, basically. So I'll come over to my website and I'll just make it mobile. Isn't that cool, right? In this case, I'm probably gonna wanna hide this and then I will take a screenshot. So with a Mac, you can click Command Shift 4 to get this screenshot. Um, with a Windows device, you can use the snipping tool. So I'll take a screenshot. So take a screenshot however you like to. And then you'll come over to your properly dimensioned design and drop your screenshot in. So there's my screenshot. So I will adjust it, right? Cause you know, you wanna make it look nice. So if I wanted it to look like that, there we go. That's how I'll do it. Maybe I'll make it even a little bit bigger. Adjust it for however makes sense for you. Again, your device will look different depending on what you're using. So this is my device here. I'll call this, I'll name it something and then I'm gonna download this file. All right, so once the file downloads, I can come back to this and then I can take it and just drop it right in. It'll take a second and then it'll say generate product mockups. I click on that button, it's generating it for me. And the next page will show me what the mockups will look like. All right, so once it generates it, it'll show up here and you can see what it looks like. And then what you need to do is come down and click download my mockups. You'll type in your email address and I typically uncheck that box. So type in your email address and then click download. It'll immediately send your mock-up to your email. So I'm gonna to come to my email, refresh it, and then there are my mock-ups. So I click on that, click on this link, which downloads the files to my computer. And now I have my mock-up files. Okay, so now I've got these two mock-up files and I will go back to Canva and actually create a new image that I will do the mock-up on. So basically we have this part of it and now we wanna create a design around it. Now I'm not a designer, so I won't be showing you tips on how to make a design. I'm just gonna show you kind of what I do. So I'll come over and I typically do like 2000 by 2000, create that design. I like square images, so that's what works for me. And then I will take my new mock-ups and drop them in. So I want the portrait version of my phone. So now I have this 
graphic to work with, right? So this is my cool mock-up. So I can add a background. You know, I've got my, my stuff already loaded in here. So this is how I'll typically do a background. And then if I wanted to add some other design elements, I could do that here. So maybe add this, you know, whatever. However you want to do it. This is kind of, this is where you get to have fun. But you've got this cool mock-up that you can now work with and it's designed and it is a graphic and an element that you can put into Canva and just drop it right in, make it bigger, make it smaller, add more of them, however that makes sense. But it's super easy. And then once you're done designing your image, you can just download it from Canva and share it everywhere you want to. And that is how you use mock-up phone and Canva to create an awesome mock-up of your website, of a blog post, or for whatever what you want to use it for.